I have a request by the Spirit that I pray for the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Allow me mention this. It's a bit political as I pray. One, one of the things, as I told you earlier, is that there is no prophet who has any idea where the David president came from. All prophets know where the president came from. And all that God showed us concerning a David president was different. When I went back to ask God, you showed some of us this individual. You showed others that the David president would be a woman. You showed us this. You gave us David President Rigathi Gashawa. Where did you bring him from? And the Lord told me that it is only him who knows where he brought him from. And it is only him who knows where he is taking him. Then I asked him, in Amos chapter 3 verse 7, you say you cannot do anything without informing your servants the prophets. Why did you not tell us about this? He said, remember the words of my apostle Paul. You prophesy in part. You see in part. But the ultimate or the conclusion of the whole matter remains with me. You can see this. I can change it. That's why some prophecies are conditional. That people will pray, then God will do. God must be understood by this country that he has the final say. It is not a must. And I speak this to the prophets with all respect. It is not a must that whatever you sow must come to pass. Prayer remains to be the highest form or grace that has capacity even to change prophecy. Prayer is the highest that has capacity to change prophecy. That's why a prophet can say, floods will come and they will kill people. But God says, if there is a man that can pray, he can turn that prophecy in a different way. Prophecy is not congruent by itself. It is independent on whether somebody will genuinely pray or not. Many prophets are seeing that there are people that will die in Kenya, leaders that will die. But when you listen to them, they say, if we will pray, we will change. That means prayer remains to be the power that is on the highest. If you can pray, you can dictate anything. There's no emergency in this country. And there's no accident in this country. This country belongs to God. And God ordained and appointed this government that is in place. Not to kill them. He appointed them for the sake of revival. And therefore, I ask you to lift up your hands as I pray for him. Gracious Father... In the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for this hour. And I stretch my hand to pray for your son, the debit president of this republic. I pray, my father, that you sustain him and that you give him wisdom and you empower him as they lead this country. I make this prayer with a lot of sincerity that God, you will bless him and his family and keep this government safe in your hands. We stand against any other plan that is contrary to your wish and your will. We pray that Kenya will remain at the top. And that besides other decisions that are not coming from you, we still pray that you give our leaders the wisdom to make decisions that glorify your name. Thank you, my Father, for this altar and this sanctuary. Bless every member that comes here. Keep us higher than the rest because we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.